The Speedform Baja style upper grill replacement that we have here today would be a very affordable choice for the 04 to 08 F-150 owners who might be going for that modern Raptor vibe, but without any massive logos or lettering across the front, which I feel makes for a very clean look overall. Now the grill is going to pack a very durable automotive grade ABS plastic build, along with that matte black finish, and of course your signature LED lighting, all for right around 150 bucks. Sight's so gonna call this a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter here in a couple of hours to get complete and wired up. But regardless, hang out with me for a bit guys, and we'll walk you through that job later in the video. So swapping grills on your F-150 is a relatively easy, and in this case, I would say a very inexpensive way to totally change up the look of the front end and really the entire vibe of the truck altogether. Now on that same topic, one of the nice things about the grill category in particular is the sheer number of options out there, ranging from mild to wild and really everything in between. Now I would say the inspiration for this grill in particular is of course the OE Raptor grill. It's gonna mimic some of the key ingredients such as the basic shape, uh, color, honeycomb design, and of course your signature LED running lights running across the top. But I would say the biggest departure from the factory Raptor style grills that you might see out there in the aftermarket is the lack of any lettering going across the middle, which again, I feel makes for a very clean look. And as an added bonus, kind of opens up some extra airflow to the front end and more specifically your radiator. Materials are gonna be very similar to that of a factory grill as well, because you are looking at again, that durable ABS plastic here, which has been designed using OEM Ford CAD data, which is basically just going to allow this thing to fit perfectly without any huge gaps or imperfections. Now, last but not least, guys, the grill does include the three amber LED running lights here uh, with the wiring needed to get these up and running on your truck at home. Uh, now, the wiring is gonna tap into your factory parking lights or your headlights, meaning basically every time you throw on your headlights or your parking lights, these lights will be switched on. Now, if you wanted to switch them to their own dedicated switch, that's something you can certainly do as well. Uh, but for the instructions that we provide with the kit here, just know that they're going to be tapped into your headlights of your truck. But now speaking of that installation, we do want to shine a little bit more light on it, pun intended, uh, give you a detailed walkthrough as promised, along with a quick tool breakdown. Check it out. The tools used for this install are a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a clip removal tool. So for this install, we are going to have to remove our factory grill to replace it with our new one. There's a little bit of wiring involved, but nothing you guys can't handle at home, and I'm gonna walk you through every step of the process. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my 10 millimeter socket on my ratchet. There are six nuts on the back of the grill along the top of the hood that I'll need to remove. I'll start with those first, and then I'll move on to these brackets here on the sides. Next, once again, using my 10 millimeter socket on my ratchet, I'm gonna remove the two 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom side of the hood that are for these brackets on the grill. There's one on each side of the hood. With all of our hardware removed, we can pull our grill out. Now that you've got the grill removed from the vehicle, this is a really good time to clean up any dirt or debris that accumulated in between the hood and the grill. So I'll just take a little bit of detail spray on a microfiber cloth, give it a spray and wipe it down. Now that we have our old grill removed from the vehicle, there is a little bit of assembly required for our new grill. I've got it laid out here on the table and the kit provides you with all the hardware you'll need to put this all together. There are some studs that need to be installed on the back as well as the brackets that mount the grill to the truck. 
So I'm gonna show you how this all goes on and then we're gonna get this thrown on. I'll start by putting the studs here in the slotted holes here in the back of the grill. There should be six. Just slide those into place. Just slide those studs into the slotted holes on the back of the grill. Next, I'm going to install the provided brackets. They just lock right into place on the back here, and then they give you some Phillips head screws to install to hold those on. And I'll just use my Phillips head screwdriver and put those in. And you can just do the same exact thing on the other side of the grill. So now I'm ready to install my new grill onto the vehicle. I took a bungee cord here and just hooked it to the hood latch and to the lower latch on the truck just to hold my hood down a little bit lower. You don't have to do this. This is just gonna make my life a little easier when I'm trying to line up all six of these studs into the bolt holes. So now I can just line everything up and slide it into place. Once you have all six of the studs lined up in the holes and through into the hood, you can start installing the provided hardware. Now I can install my provided washer and nut onto the back of each stud. Now I can take my eight millimeter socket on my ratchet and tighten down all six of those nuts. Next, I can reinstall the two factory 10 millimeter bolts on the underside of the hood that secure the brackets to the hood. Once I have those started, I can tighten them down with my 10 millimeter socket. Just do the same thing on the other side. Now, because this grill is attached to the hood and the grill is going to open and close with the hood, we have to run the wire down along the side of the hood into the inside of the fender well and then up to the headlight. So what I'm gonna do is use my trim tool to pop the clips out for the hood and then I'll tuck my wire down behind this, this soundproofing material and then reinstall my clips. Now I can tuck my wire in behind this material and it'll come down to the bottom of the hood where I can then route it along the inside of the engine bay and run it up to my headlight. Once you have your wires routed down to the back of your headlight, you can start the wiring portion of this install. So what I'm gonna do is reach into the back of the headlight and disconnect 
the turn signal and marker light connector, and you'll see there are three wires on the back of this connection. I have a green and white, I have a brown, and I have a black. The brown and black wires are going to be what I tap into. Um, so this is gonna be my power for my brown wire and my ground on my black wire. The kit provides you with these scotch lock connections that allow you to tap into these wires. Now, because I like to be able to remove any lighting that I install on any vehicle that I work on, I'm going to be using a similar style of connection. However, this is called a T-tap, and all I need to do is put a spade connector on the end of my wires, and then if I ever want to unplug this in the future, all I have to do is unplug the spade from this T-tap, and I can remove the lighting. So I will just line up my wire on my T-tap connection and pinch it closed. And this will pierce into the copper so that I get my power and ground signals, but it will not cut through. And then I can just plug in with a spade. I've got my power and my ground sufficiently tapped into my wiring, so now I can plug my headlight back in and pretty much wrap this install up. And that's gonna wrap up this review and install of the Speedform upper replacement grill with LED lighting in matte black, fitting your 2004 to 2008 F-150. Thanks for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.